Where restaurants, we're here on behalf of the victims of your so-called personal choices, those brought into captivity and viciously killed under the guise of court cuisine. Aside from decor and expense, it matters not to them whether they end up on a supermarket shelf or in some self-aggrandizing amoral eatery. When quality is determined by tasteless fanfare and the cosmetic, the grisly truth often lies just below the surface. The menu reads like a grotty roll call of sordidness and death. Where to begin? Well, why not with one of the most insanely cruel products ever conceived? Quad Ra. Imagine being force fed several times a day and feeling your organs displaced as your fat saturated liver swells to nine times its natural size. This can cause respiratory and cardiac failure. You, you see, it's not just a question of having their throats slit, a fate which awaits many of the squares, defenseless victims like the pigs who are first gassed, electrocuted or boiled alive, but also the frustration, misery and squalor they endure. Even those who are given more space in the farm than in the oven will end up bundled onto a lorry, transported many miles, only to find themselves in the same hellhole, betrayed and terrified. They never even make it alive to that place where the floor is awash with blood and viscera. Many of those broken souls never even feel the sun on their backs until the day of their execution. The square takes great pride in a selection of species it exploits, yet the use of rabbits and game birds, for example, is hugely irresponsible, not to mention needless and cruel. Red grouse are severely limited in numbers due to hunting and the burning of heather to promote regrowth of their food supply and shelter threatens other animals. This coincides with the killing of their natural hunters in order to satisfy human greed. Greed hidden behind a tenuous smoke stream of ethics and sustainability. There's nothing ethical about stealing the life of someone who doesn't want to die. Pheasants are reared for a violent death by the tens of millions each year, meaning restaurants will pay a pittance for them, and many of their bodies will simply be disposed of like rubbish. Pigeon flesh also features on the menu, whether farmed or shot for sport, pigeons are curious, sensitive beings who typically pair off when not enslaved in death camps. What's more, a vast array of marine animals are killed. Many scooped up by trawlers so that other non-targeted species are caught only to die a slow, painful death as bycatch. Whether farmed or a lion caught, their demise is excruciating. Fish react to pain in much the same way as mammals. Their bodies even create the same opioids as mammals to reduce it. Asphyxiation or a hook embedded in their mouth must be extremely painful. Not forgetting lobsters who, unlike us, cannot go into shock. Just like us though, they're equipped with nerve receptors, so having claws or tail flesh removed or being boiled alive results in needlessly prolonged agony. As if that wasn't enough, cows are raped, abducted and killed for veal, they're fattened up with anemia inducing gruel. Alternatively, they're reared and then cut up for ribeye steak. As for your precious dairy cheese, there's of course no room for maternal love. Rather than drinking mother's milk, male calves are shot, bludgeoned, or end up as veal. AKA baby cow flesh. Females face the same bleak future of violation, heartbreak and exhaustion as their estranged mothers. They're even sent to their deaths while heavily pregnant. Another shameless money-grubbing tactic. Last but not least, honey and beeswax, whether stolen in St. John's Wood or from the ideals of Crete. Bee vomit is the product of massively intensive labour at the animal's expense. Entire hives are wiped out before winter. Queens get their wings removed, males are killed in the process of extracting semen and transportation. And they are deprived of a vital source of food and high utilization. Justification for this slavery based on intelligence is also false. 
beings even use vector calculus in relation to the sun as a communication and navigational tool. The square claims to offer a rarefied experience and a menu steeped in style and sophistication. But what's so rare about enslaving, murdering and serving up dead animals and their secretions? Executing the innocent isn't something to be celebrated just because chefs refuse to raise their game and tap into the infinite plant-based alternatives out there. It's not food! It's violence!